thought I would do a PSA about the water. Uh, you might have seen in uh, on X or Facebook or maybe on maybe the news channel making fun of California because they're they've got this program program that's um, called from toilet to tap so everybody's making fun of, of California for that but I don't know if Las Vegas just wants to keep it secret but Las Vegas has been doing we've been drinking toilet water since the 90s long before California had a dream about it normally all the wacko stuff comes from California well this one has been in Las Vegas uh, maybe 94 95 96 something like that mid mid 90s it doesn't go straight from the toilet to the tap come on don't be disgusting what happens in Las Vegas is you flush it goes to a processing plant and they strain it yeah they get the peanuts and the corn out and right away I know what you're thinking what are they gonna do with the corn well you can go get it it's free you gotta bring your own bucket what can I do with that well the nutrients are out of it because uh, a human stomach is very acidic and it's uh, it's more powerful than any cleaning fluid you can buy so it's real clean I mean you know they, they had to get the stuff around, around it get off and you know pressure wash it but you can make uh, corn dogs corn bread of course corn fritters corn chowder uh, the list goes on and on and on anything you can make with uh, canned corn you can you can use this instead and it's free what about the peanuts well peanut butter uh, peanut uh, brittle peanut clusters and what's ironic about the peanut clusters is when you make the peanut clusters they end up looking exactly like the peanuts did when they arrived at the processing plant before they were strained if you know what I'm saying so anyway what happens is when visitors come to Las Vegas they don't drink the tap water 95% of people that come to Vegas buy bottled water and they drink on an average stay they drink about a gallon and a half of water so that's two days about two days is an average day two and a half days something like that let's just say it's a gallon and a half so like in October we had five million people uh, come in that was only in the uh, uh, airport so there was a lot more from California uh, also that drove or Arizona whatever we can get into a whole new thing whenever there's a lot of California people coming in suddenly the water has a lot of o o uh, Ozempic in it and that Ozempic stuff is expensive so if you want to get a little taste of Ozempic just drink the tap water in Las Vegas eh, that's just a free fun fact a pro tip I call it so anyway let's say a gallon and a half per visitor just the people on the airplane so that's seven and a half million gallons of water that comes into Las Vegas on the airplanes and those people if they take a shower they lose very little of that water goes straight down the drain into that processing plant and then it goes to in the wash we call it the wash it's uh, where all the rainwater goes it's also where all the homeless people sleep and they have all their garbage in the wash and whenever it rains all that water runs past them and all that garbage and ends up in Lake Mead so then after 
the toilet water goes into the processing plant, it goes back into the wash, it goes back into Lake Mead. So then in Lake Mead, it might go through some sand and some silt, and then it goes back into the processing plant a second time, and then it's into the water pipes, and then into the tap water. It's just like a, a continuous loop, and that's how it gets filtered. Now, I don't know what kind of harmful chemicals is being used, but you can bet there's a bunch of them. But anyway, if you come to uh, Las Vegas and you're on the airplane and you feel like you need to uh, relieve yourself and you're only an hour out of Las Vegas, can you please hold it and wait till you at least get to the airport so we can use that water? We need it. So you'll be doing your part because otherwise if you do it on the airplane they're just gonna they're gonna unload it over Phoenix or Denver and it's gonna evaporate before it even hits the ground except for the solids and some of that hits uh, people at the swimming pools and stuff but that's a whole another documentary this this documentary is about water so yeah the toilet to tap thing that's going on in California has been going on here for a long long time and uh, it works the water tastes fine I have to I have to admit because I'm not gonna buy bottled water but I want you to so you can load us up on the water unless you want some of that uh, Ozempic then you could I'm gonna have to drink the tap water but yeah that's uh that's just a fun fact. It's something you should know and you didn't want to know. I figured I'd show you some of Las Vegas while we were talking about uh, toilet water. So I put a capsule in the toilet and I tracked it and wanted to see how long it would take before it came out of my sink. And it's uh, 63 days. So if you come to Las Vegas and you return in 63 days, you're probably drinking your own uh, pee pee or poo poo. It's just a little, and that's more of a fun fact. It's super fun fact. So you'd be just like uh, that scene on uh, Better Call Saul when he was so thirsty he had to drink his uh, own pee. And if in 63 days you'd be doing the same thing. So I hope you like that. I hope you like to know about the water. And I hope you remember not to drink it so that I can have more of it. I'm not, buy I'm not buying that plastic one. And by the way, please buy that uh, Fiji water. I like, the, I like the looks of that. I feel like if I'm getting tap water, I'm getting some of your Fiji water. That would be good. Dispose of the plastic. Uh, courteously though properly maturely all right that's all for now that's at my PSA I'm gonna do a PSA every uh, every now and then because it's very important subjects